talk about how EHEs and BHEs work. What's really going on at a cellular level? Let's start with alpha hydroxy acids. EHEs have molecules small enough to penetrate to the start of the stratum corneum. That's the topmost layer of your skin. That layer is made up of 15 to 20 rows of flattened cells called corneocytes. Corneocytes are held together by ionic bonding. EHEs outcompete cells for negative groups and weaken those bonds. That makes skin shedding a lot easier. Let's talk about BHAs. What the BHA typically used in skincare is salicylic acid. This acid targets acne in two ways. First, it stops the production of skin oil, sebum, and second, it reduces inflammation. It does this by blocking two protein pathways. One pathway triggers inflammation and the second pathway triggers sebum production. But it also turns on cell death pathways that only affect sebocytes. This reduces the overall size of the gland and thus the amount of sebum they can produce. Finally, salicylic acid dissolves the bonds that hold skin cells together, making them a lot easier to shed. Now you know how AHAs and BHAs work. AHAs reduce the ionic bonds holding skin cells together, while BHAs disrupt signaling pathways that regulate sebaceous gland cells. Together, they can reduce signs of aging and combat acne. Humans have actually been using them for centuries. You must have heard about Cleopatra taking milk baths to look younger. Well, she was using lactic acid, an AHA, and lactic acid really does reduce the signs. Combinations of AHAs and BHAs can have different effects on the skin depending on their concentration and pH.